sweaty. Okay, I was cleaning up slowly but surely. A little panty here. And I think that I need to, I think I've touched on this oh, several times, but I'm going to do this much slower and more carefully on this video. Okay, this is the way it works, guys. When a person normally, what I call a long-term human or a longer-term human, which can be anywhere from a human that has been here more than 10 lives to somebody who came in uh, shortly after the Creator divided the light and the dark, as you would say. But these are entities that have been around in this situation for a long, long time. Now, they all, we all start out at high vibration, all of us. We all are that way uh, when we're hanging around, running around in between games. This is not a... A, 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 a crown that you get to put on your head whenever you're that way. Everybody is that way. That's just where you are. It's how you vibrate. But as the people, the long-term humans, the entities that have been here all along, whether they took thousands or tens of thousands or hundreds of millions of lifetimes, so to speak, to be in this, uh, this game where the point was to get lower and lower vibrations in physical form, they did it gradually, incrementally, in incrementally, uh, over t over time, over lifetime, so to speak. And so they gradually reduced, gradually reduced, gradually reduced. Okay. And that's how they've done it. So they're very comfortable. It's very easy to be on this planet. Most of them enjoy this planet, this circumstances, this uh, lifetime very much. Uh, they will talk about how wonderful it is and, and how all the physical attributes that they love because they have been doing it for so long that they don't and they've been the whole point of this was to be an amnesia that they don't remember the way it was before okay now let's fast forward to me I am going to say this slowly I came here at a very high vibratory rate in order to help Gaia she is my friend. She is, as you consider, she is one of my dearest, closest friends. And therefore, when she called and needed help, of course, I came a running. And because she is my dearest, closest friend, I wanted to be the most help that I could in doing this. So I opted to come at a very high vibratory rate. Um, now I didn't I don't know name things like people do down here I know off of vibrations but Sarah did my my chart and she said that I have an indigo um, chart now indigos are actually which surprised me because I didn't realize that because I do know the vibration of the indigos uh, I don't know what they call them because I, I don't know whether or not people have got them divided out but I knew when she said it, what she was talking about was a certain vibration. And I didn't know that I had come in at that period of time at that vibration. Okay, that was very, very high vibration. Now, that doesn't make me better than anybody else, okay? You all vibrate really, really high when you're not in this game. Everybody does. If you've been here longer, you've gradually reduced, gradually reduced, gradually reduced. That is why people look at humans in such awe. That, no, they're not, uh, humans are not high on the consciousness level. That wasn't the point. The point was for them to gradually, incrementally, get lower and lower, lower, far beyond what anybody thought was possible. And to be able to have an experience from that perspective. So, of course, humans are not high vibratorily now when Gaia made her call and that's a whole nother story about why she made the call but she made the call and needed help uh, things had gotten to she was off schedule so to speak even though there's no such thing as time uh, there is when you're in time space there is such a thing as time so anyway long story short short story long uh, I came into this planet now at the time I was vibrating higher than what we had attempted to get on the planet because you got to see you got to understand the higher an entity comes in and stands on Gaia the more helpful that person is to stand on the planet so we were shooting higher and higher and higher 
entities were trying to get higher and higher and higher to get on the planet so we could help her vibrationally to heal and raise her vibrations to get to 5D where she wants to kind of sit for a while. So I came in because I'm a really, really good friend, as high as we possibly thought I could live here. And when I came in, it was very, very, very dense, low 3D vibrations. So when the bad guy switched me over to the human body, I can't remember if I just said this in this other video, but whatever, uh, they couldn't change where I was going to be born, but they could change what time. And that affected a lot of energies to kind of help me out with this high vibratory status that I was in on this low, dense, vibratory planet at its present state. So, <clears throat> if you couple the fact that I came in very high vibrationally, when you're higher vibrationally, it's like somebody who's really, really in a good mood and somebody comes in in really bad mood and how that tries to ruin your fun. Well, that's how it is for me. I came down and looked around and everywhere I looked, it was just people being miserable. And uh, they almost seemed to be their, their plans and their setup and how they operated amongst themselves and in everything they did seemed to create more uh, low vibrations, even lower and lower. Well, of course, that's the way it was set up to get to the lower vibrations. The problem was in the turnaround to go back up. That's where the problem was. So when I came into those very, very, very dense 3D places uh, and vibrations, I was very, very unhappy. Now, you couple that with um, at uh, five weeks old, my mom spanked me for the first time for crying. And by the time I was two or three, I was being raped repeatedly until I was 13. At 12, an uncle sexually molested me too. Um, on top of the parental, loving parental figures, there was a lot of demeaning, you're not good enough, keep trying. A lot of, uh, between my mother and my father, they pretty much covered the mental, physical, sexual uh, torture that needed to be handled then you start adding because that wasn't good enough my my sister and i are the only ones that are blood to my parents and then they had a i have a brother that's a year younger than my sister because my dad only wanted boys he didn't want girls i didn't even have a name they came up with a name in the hospital brenda lee was singing and i don't know where she came up with yvonne i don't remember but that's the reason why i don't like my name because it was like oh well that'll do so anyway they finally had a boy and the boy died um, within weeks and of course they both hated each other for it my parents did and uh, although they did attack each other quite a bit but they did take it out on the kids and then eventually because this is a really great system in this United States um, they let them adopt three boys now the oldest one he kind of flipped out after a year attacked my dad broke a rib and they sent him back uh to the uh, orphanage which where he was adopted by some wonderful el uh, older people who gave him a wonderful life and he has a great family and yay way to go him my other two brothers are both in jail and they've been in jail for a long time the oldest one is doesn't he needs to be in jail he is he wouldn't hurt me or anybody i love but he has he was tortured by those people to the point of no return. Uh, both of them were, really. So, and then after that, I, of course, because I didn't know anything better, married two husbands that were both very abusive, was raped uh, multiple times as an adult, once by a very dear friend, once um, dragged in the back alley by, by with a knife to my throat, and I didn't think that I was going to live through that one. And uh, the third one was in my house, going to the bathroom in my own house with my husband in the next room. And there I got told that it was my fault because I should have been more careful going to the bathroom. But he didn't even wake up for that one. Um, so, yeah, that was fun. And then it just goes on and on and on and on. Now, you guys know that I've gone over this and I understand where all this comes from. So it's all good. But it does still affect me in this skin suit so then I died and I go to zoom into the other side and I remember everything and I come back with it all hodgepodge in my head it takes me about uh, two years to recoup my physical self 
and then another two years to realize that I don't want to do what I'm doing, do whatever thing they've told me to do again, and then another two years really to start sorting through all this stuff that came back. And uh, yeah, then I started talk to, talking to my daughter, found out that she had no amnesia, very little, and uh, uh, really started getting the data correlated at that point. Then I had to decide what to do with it, and uh, then I started doing videos. That's the short version. Now, the point of this video is to let you guys know that, number one, I came for Gaia, okay? I didn't really think in terms of the humans that were on Gaia. I was really much more concerned with, the, with Gaia herself. Now, humans are a part of Gaia, so from that perspective, I was concerned for the humans, but I was concerned for Gaia and helping her. Uh, if you could have felt her scream, you would understand why, because it was horrendously agonizing, uh, like nothing I have ever experienced in my existence and never want to again. Uh, so, yeah, that's the reason why I came screaming back, and really we didn't. I was one of the earlier indigo type that came onto the planet, and so there wasn't as much planning. I don't know how to explain that because everything is in the now over there, but we had to deal with time space linearly. So it was very complicated. But I did come in high vibrationally. I did hit the planet high vibrationally. I was put over in a family that was extremely dysfunctional, terrifying in oh so many ways. That led to me pretty much vibrating and creating continued horror up until the age of 45. At 45, the reason why I was dead was because we were being held prisoner by a crazy man for seven months. And uh, yeah, that's a whole other story, guys, you don't even know about. And that was right before I died. So that wasn't that long ago. 2008 wasn't that long ago. For me to have gone through all of that, died, kind of a big deal, come back, try to get out of being homeless with my, say, 17-year-old daughter, and survive in the United States of America with no support, no backing, plus start to go back down the same road again and get out of that and sort through all of this knowledge that I had from dying. It was kind of overwhelming. So I want you guys to know that I am still day-to-day -day dealing with the trauma of my life my 45 year life actually it was closer to 50 at that point there was trauma well into after i died and came back so 50 years half a century of trauma has affected this skin suit so even though i have all the knowledge about how it works on the other side and i can vibrate and i know how to create still every single day moment to moment i have to catch myself being triggered into deep fear depression anger, uh, judgment, everything that I tell you that you cannot do, I am dealing with it every single day, being happier and happier and happier. It is slow going at the beginning, guys. It really is. There's, I, It's much improved over the last five years, but it's still, I'm slogging through. So when you hear me say things like, well, uh, if I talk about suicide and wanting to die, well, seriously, I just described the life I have had on this planet. I've described to you over and over how phenomenal the other side is. Who can blame me for wanting to go back? I was interested because Sarah did tell me that, that really the signs on my chart showed a death death, not a near death. And she was very surprised that I came back. And I really was curious about that. I didn't tell her anything about that. Because I do know that it was a big, big deal. And I almost, it, I think I had about a 5% chance of coming back. That even up until the moment I opened my eyes, I was saying, no, I'm not doing it. So I know why I'm here. I came back to, to stay as long as I can handle it. As long as I can stay being happier and happier in spite of everything that's happened 
in the past, in spite of all the triggers, in spite of what is going on around me in the news, in spite of the way treat, people treat me when I go to town, in spite of all of that, I am going happier and happier and happier because it doesn't take much when you've lived that kind of life. You pretty much look at everybody like they are, they can attack you. I walk around with my back to the wall and guns out, knives in my my hair, you know, whatever you want to say. I, that's how I've gone through life, is in fight mode. Not flight, never flight, always fight. And it's exhausting. It's exhausting. And I don't think I was wrong. It is a dangerous place here. But I'm trying to do what I tell you to do and to visualize 5D. The reason why I say 5D over and over is I've seen what 4D Earth looks like. And I can't do that. I simply can't. I don't have enough left in me to slog through that kind of vibration. The only thing that can help get me happier and happier and happier is knowing, knowing that I'm a creator God, knowing that every time they scare me, I can click out of it and go, nope, they can't hurt me. I'm a creator God. I choose. Go away. I choose. I choose happiness. And I do that every day, moment after moment after moment. I am very, very good at doing what I've taught, told you guys to do. I know what you're going through. That's the reason why I do these videos. Is not because I'm there ahead of you. It's because I'm walking with you. It's just I went over and saw the instructions. I know the instructions better than you. But I'm walking right along with you just as hard for me this bodysuit reacts very quickly even though my spiritual side is m much more aware the bodysuit reacts wicked fast to these things and i have to correct it all the time all the time because she's scared she's been hurt a lot physically mentally any way that you could imagine she has been hurt a lot so i have to comfort her and correct her and say no i'm with you we got this. We're God. We can fix it. But I want you guys to know that I am walking this walk too. Just right along with you. I am holding back and doing it slower because I have decided that if I was going to come back, then I'm going to walk this as slow as I can handle it. To help as many as I can to get to 5D, because if I don't, I'll just go zooming to 5D, and then what's the point of coming back at all? That's why I slow down. Because otherwise, what was the point? So I go as slow as I can, help as many as I can, but if I go too slow, it starts to affect me and bring me down, so then I have to speed up again. And not, not care so much about what people are saying in the comment section. Uh, because really, guys, you need to turn around. If you keep turning around and fighting with each other, uh, you're not going to make it. You're going to stay in the places where they fight. It's that simple. And I'm simply not going to fight. I'm not going to fight with you. I'm not going to fight with anybody else. I am telling you what I experienced. I am telling you as much as I can to get you to remember. But if you don't, say la vie. I'm good with that. Uh, you've got a different path. So what? I still am going to 5D and beyond, and that's why, okay? Uh, different entities have different gigs, just like different beings on this planet have different things they like. Some people like water sports, some people like snow, some people like um, cold, some people like warm. Well, it's the same way over there. We each have our different gigs that we like. I do not care for the low vibrations. I don't have any judgment for anybody who likes them. More power to you guys. Good. Enjoy it. What is annoying to me is low vibration people really judge people who like the higher vibrations. I like the higher vibrations. I do like physical occasionally, but I enjoy energetic uh, beingness. I like collecting data, looking at the big picture. I like looking at this creation from the outside in, all of it, not just... Uh, this solar system, this universe, I mean the whole creation, outside looking in. That is my gig. I am here to help my friend. You are a part of my friend. And that is why I'm here. But my goal is, the only thing that I can 
uh, deal with. The only thing that can get me happier and happier is the goal of getting out of these low densities because they just, to me, are too painful because I vibrate higher. I did not take 100,000 lives, gradually lowering my vibration to meet them. I came zooming in at a high vibration. It hurts painfully as if all of the pain that was done to me wasn't enough. Just when you're in a bad mood, it hurts me physically. That's why I'm always got something wrong with me. That's why I'm always breaking things or you know, something's always physically wrong because I can feel those negative vibrations. They hit me and they physically hurt this body. In nature, I don't feel that. And even if there's somebody with me, if they are in a bad mood, I don't feel it because nature overwhelms them, which is why I want to travel and get out to nature. I want to meet all you guys carefully, slowly, the ones that I trust only first, uh, very small amounts at a time with a majority of my time out in nature and that is why okay does that make sense hopefully that will answer some questions um well hopefully it does all right uh, i gotta go finish doing what i'm doing I'm trying to do it a little bit by little bit so i don't breathe too hard uh yeah okay guys that's it uh huge hugs and i love you so much and i'll talk to you later bye now